Hello, welcome back to another video. Today's video is a house tour. I have promised this for ages and I've not done it, so I'm gonna do it now. So we just have some Christmas lights at the top on our little balcony, which I thought I would show you. And then this is my house, the new house. So I've just got some little fairy lights just above here and then my front door and my little Christmas. You'll see all the Christmas decorations as well. So let's get inside. So this is the dining room. This is the first room you come in when you come in the house. So in the dining room, I just have a gallery wall of pictures from JYSK. Um, they just come with this selection. So I think it was about 30 pound for all of the photos. So we've just got little quotes here. Sometimes you win, sometimes you learn, make time for yourself. Little um, scenic pictures and then a nice little meadow one. We have a telly because we have this telly from the old house and we didn't know what to do with it. So we put it in the dining room because this is the first floor of the property. It's three stories high. Um, and so we've got no lounge downstairs. So we thought we would have the dining room in the, sorry, the TV in the dining room um, and just like, you know, have it there on hand if we need to put music on or watch a film or whatever having dinner. This is my dining table and my chairs from JYSK. I went with the black theme. Chairs are JYSK. Dining table is next. Um, I went with like a walnut and black theme. My Christmas garland, which I'm just so in love with. Um, you'll see this on my range hall. I've got a little bar cart in the corner here from Home Bargains. There's a bit of a weird space here because it's quite low. Um, so the bar cart just fits nice under there, but there's not much else I could put under there. So I've just got some gin, um, a little cocktail shaker, some vodka, you know, the essentials and some wine glasses. These are from Asda. Um, I love those. They're absolutely gorgeous. So bar cart. And then I've got this little tree here. This tree I get out for parties. I usually stick photographs of the person whose birthday it is. So this tree I've had for ages from Hobbycraft. And then I just got out my Costco Christmas baubles, really big, giant baubles, and I love it. So that white tree just sits really nicely there next to the glass. So this glass panel sees like it goes through into the hallway. I just love it. So that is the tree. And then if you just come along here, you'll also see this side of the door. So this is when you come in. So I've just got some hooks there, some coat hooks at the top um, where we put our coats and bags. And then I've got this sign from the range just above the radiator. And I also have this mirror. I, this is my little shoe bit. So if I zoom out, you'll see. So this is my shoe bit. I needed something to put shoes on. So it's got a wooden top uh, from B&M. And then it's got three black like shelves with shoes. The mirror is from Home Bargains and then I've got some little gnomes and my poinsettia from the range which you'll see in the range hall. I absolutely love this one. And then just above on the sh uh, shoe shelf I've just got some gnomes, little Christmas decorations and some fake snow. This is the wood top. Um, this was £15 from b and I love that shoe storage. But yeah, the gnomes are very cute, very pretty. A little fairground carousel which has batteries. There you go. <laughs> so it sings. Um, and then a little gnome as well there. This is the hallway. And then it just kind of goes up the stairs onto the second floor. So I've got a little garland here and some Christmas lights. I think they look so cute, so festive. I've got my plant in the corner of the stairs there. And then this is my kitchen. So the opposite of the stairs, I have this hallway unit, which was from Amazon. And it was £48, which is a massive bargain. It's grey and it's wooden and it's really nice. I love it. And then I've just got some Pampers grass and then this heart. This wicker heart was from eBay. I think it was £38. Pampers grass from the range. And then a vase, which I've had for ages now, from Home Sense. A little candle and then just a little smelly thing there. Nothing really on this one. Nothing Christmassy either. Just wanted to keep it nice and simple. We've got some family photos that go in the corner as well. Um, but yeah this just sits really nicely and when you walk down the stairs it's the first thing you see so I think that's really cool because it just gives a little a classy look I think to the bottom of the stairs and it makes use of this space so then if we just go into the kitchen this is the last floor um, on the the last room on this floor so I've just got a little table here we've got a dining table but this is like our kitchen table so we just eat we usually eat um dinner here or like lunch if we're in and then I've just got some pictures 
on the wall up there from my wedding. I have some little fairy lights just dangling around and some hanging plants as well. Then I've got this armchair and I put it in the kitchen because there's such a nice space here, like in the corner of the kitchen. And I think it needed something like just casual to sit. And if I'm cooking or like my husband's cooking, we tend to just like sit on the armchair, the other one that's not cooking and just chat and catch up. Um, so this armchair was from B&Q. Um, and the footstool was as well. I think there was £100 together. And then I've also got this dash and cushion, which is Christmassy and it's got pom-poms on. It was from the range. You'll see it in the range hall. Just love it. And that's the back door. And then we come along to the kitchen. We've just got a little from B&M, a &M, rattan like holder for tea towels, smellies. The dishwasher is here. Then this is my little Christmas display. I love this. So this is from Home Bargains, Home Bargains, Asda and Asda. So gingerbread teapot, little gingerbread tin and a nutcracker. And then we also have a clock as well, just above that, like that. So that's what that looks like there. Um, this clock I've had for ages. I think it was from the range. I also have a hanging heart in the window with some fake flowers in a little vase. And then just my kitchen, which you would have seen on grocery hauls. So these, um, <laughs> trying to be the hostess with the most desk, pretending I'm like some kind of Mary Berry. I cooked cookies for my friends that I come in. Um, so these are freshly baked only one hour ago. <laughs> um, but these, this is just on my side. So I've got a cake stand. I've got some cooking essentials, just some bacon chop chips. I've got my pasta jars. I'm also lighting a candle, so I'll just move that. Um, and my pasta jars there. So that is just one side of the kitchen. Then we have the hob, and then I've just got chopping boards and oil straws and my tea and kettle pots and toaster. I also have some cupcakes from my mother-in-law. She made these today. I'll show you these, they look amazing. These are the cupcakes that she made. They look absolutely delicious. So that is my kitchen. It's just a very basic kitchen, but I love the space. It's got really good space and the worktop and it's cream and I really, really like it. I like the black as well at the back. Um, and then obviously all of our cupboard space at the top there. And yeah, that is the kitchen. So I'm gonna take you upstairs. So going upstairs, we've got the garland. Uh, I've had that for a few years now. This is from uh, B&M, I think. I've had that for a couple of years. And then the stairs just curve around. It might be a little dark up here. I just need to put some lights on. So I put the Christmas rope lights all the way around up here. Well, my husband did. I think it looks really festive. And then this is a shoe cupboard. Um, is it messy? Oh no, it's okay. It's fairly messy, but it'll do. So that's just where we keep our shoes. So just off the stairs, we're going into the lounge. It's just got some Chesterfield sofas and some cushions, a little throw. Let me zoom in so it's like properly. Um, we've got a little home is wherever I'm with you sign. That was in the bathroom, but I've moved that into the lounge. A window here with some blinds and a little gonk. And then these plastic mirrors are from um, the range. I absolutely love them. They're just like this shabby chic little plastic thing um, and they separate the the wall space quite nice i think because i wasn't quite sure what to put on there i didn't want to put anything else on the back behind the sofas because i was worried it might fall <laughs> it's like an anxiety thing on my head when i'm sitting down um so i just got some white cushions a white throw from b m these cushions from ikea they're like feather pillar, they're really nice. My little safe is here. And then we've got this door, which opens up to a fake balcony. So it's just railings. My curtains are from B&M, but I love this. I love this here, because it's in the countryside. So it just looks out into just a beautiful space. Um, and my husband put all twinkling lights for Christmas around the railings. So these aren't here all year, but they are gonna be here for the Christmas season. And then this door opens up, but obviously you can't stand out because you'll be onto the railings. Um, but this is just a little flower box. You can see that was left when we moved here. Um, the previous people that lived here left that flower box. So we you, like, used it. We didn't want to get rid of it because I think it looks quite cute. So we've just got some flowers in there, some plants. Um, 
And then this is my tree. I am so happy with my tree this year. I cannot get enough. It's It stands in front of a space that usually has a lamp and a mirror. So without the tree here, there would be a lamp here, which I'll show you shortly because it's in the spare room, um, a mirror, which was from JYSK. And it's this white shabby chic mirror. It's absolutely gorgeous. It goes all the way to the floor and it was £40, believe it or not. Such a good place, that shop. Um, we've got our telly from auction, which we got for a steal of a deal. Um, there's a garland there. It's not quite long enough. <laughs> I underestimated how long that garland was from the range. I thought it would fit that space, but it doesn't, but it's fine. Um, we've got the two cupboards here on this TV unit. This TV unit matches the coffee table, both from JYSK. I think that was 140. This was 120, I think. Um, and this house is games like uh, family games and this house is toys for when nieces and nephew comes books and things like colouring pads, felt tips, that kind of thing. Um, so at the bottom of the tree, I've got a little gonk. I've also got this beautiful Christmas tree skirt from B&M. It's just white and cream and fur and I love it. There's my little gonk. He just sits there just guarding the tree space. But this is my Christmas tree absolutely gorgeous the roses are new this year but every other bauble is a couple of years old so let's take you further and i can show you which baubles i've got so i've got this star topper from home sense um last year and it's jeweled it's got this the jewels and it's got the glass back and it's beautiful and then we have a little deer and these beautiful pink baubles. These are clip-on sparkly, fl sparkly flowers. Um, they are from the range last year. That was a couple of years old. It's from a garden centre, that deer. And yeah, I've just got some really nice baubles, which I think look absolutely gorgeous. I've got a little heart one here. So that is my tree and then if we go along from the TV I also have a bookcase from Argos Clearance Warehouse. Just got a couple of Christmassy items on here so I've just got the deer from B&M. Uh, is it a deer? Some kind of woodland animal from B&M. Um, these are from JYSK. I've had these and these are all year round candlesticks that stay on the top um, and they're from B&M. And then this is from Ikea. This is a good vibes only. I love this space because I love reading and I've got books in this basket at the bottom there, um, which you can see I'll zoom in. So that basket just houses all of my reading books and I've got a little shell. I've got some fashion books trying to be a little fashionista um, and then just some bits from France that bike was from France and that planter was from B&M and I need to get some new drawer knobs like I want to change them out but I just haven't got around to it yet but this bookcase was a steal of a deal. It was £65 from the Argos clearance and it just fits perfectly in this space. The shape of this room is a little bit weird because the door is here. Um, so all of this space is space, but we don't use it because our sofas face the TV here. So all of this is kind of wasted space. So I've just got a basket of blankets and then two bean bags to rest our feet on. But yeah, we could definitely do something more with this space here because it's just wasted, but it goes around the door and then the wall comes out. So there's no way for us to kind of, unless we take the door off for us to see like what this space is when you're sitting there. But um, I love it anyway. I think it's great. So in the middle of the room, I've just got this coffee table, which is the same as the TV stand. Um, there's nothing at the bottom. I did have two baskets at the bottom, but I thought it looked too busy. So I pulled them out. This uh, rug is from the range, a white rug. The runner is from JYSK. And then I have, of course, a little tray of treats. So this little hot um, tray that the treats are in is from a garden centre. And then the round tray is from JYSK and the candle is from HomeSense. It's an apple and vanilla candle and it smells amazing. So that just sits on the coffee table and that is just hanging out for guests to help themselves to the sweets and the candle smells are delicious. So that is the coffee table. 
So we come out of the lounge, we're gonna go over the other side of this middle floor. So we have a toilet on the middle floor. I've shown this bathroom in a whole separate video because I did a little transformation. So it's just a toilet, basically. I changed the floor in here, um, but it's just a toilet. We've got the orchid, we've got the mirror, we've got the hand towel, and we've got some storage. So there's not really much to say about this. <laughs> it's just a little toilet, but it's nice to have something on the middle floor. And then if we go into the guest room, this is quite bare in here because we've only been here six weeks. So the guest room was like not really on our list of things to do, but we've got friends coming tonight. So we wanted to like, you know, make it a little bit nice. So we've kind of pulled this together last minute, but um, I've got two little stars, which I've had for years. Um, these are just like wooden stars from the range. So I've hung them on the wall just for a little bit of decor. This lamp here is usually in the lounge where the tree is. This was from the range. I think it was 65 pound and I love it. It's like an industrial one absolutely love that so that just sits there these this table was from B&M um, and the flowers were as well so it's just a little side table this is my husband's grandpa's armchair and it's been in the family for years um, and he absolutely adores it so we've got this in the corner of the room just somewhere for them to sit and chill if they want to they've also got towels and face cloths here because they're staying the night so I wanted to put them out so they can use them and then usually we just have this cushion here which says oh my we've got no curtains because I didn't get any in time <laughs> I've got the curtain rail just no curtains, <laughs> but the blinds do shut, so they'll have privacy. A little radio here, which I found when we moved. I had like stuff from years ago in a box and um, that was in the loft at the old house. So when I got this out, I thought, perfect, I'll put it in the spare room. They can have the radio on. Um, and this is what I got from Argos today. £100, should have been 300 This is a sofa bed. Um, but I love it because it's like a deep green velvet. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's got the gold brush legs as well. He just looks stunning and it pulls out obviously into a bed so in the day like at christmas when we have family over it's another room like it's not the best room it's quite bare in here but it's another room when you've got a really big family that you could use to play games in or just to hang out in on boxing day when we've got our like family celebration and then when we do have guests over we obviously have a room for them to pull this sofa out and make it into a double bed. So I love it. And I've got one more side table over there as well for them if they want to put drinks on. These side tables are matching. They are from B&M and they were only £10 each. And the green just goes perfectly with that green sofa. I think it complements it really nicely. So the room is quite bare in here, but it you know doesn't need anything fancy. It's just a guest room. It's somewhere for them to sleep. If we come out of the guest room, we're going to go up the stairs. So the next room we're coming into is my bedroom. So we have fitted built-in wardrobes here, which I love. I just am not keen on the handles and I wish that it wouldn't cost too much money to try and replace these because I do not like the silver handles, but it's not worth trying to replace them. My husband quite likes them. He's happy with them. It matches the silver here inside the wood. Um, I just don't like the silver handles. I don't, I'm not keen on that look, but they offer great storage. There's drawers inside as well built in. We also have some drawers there as well. Now this bedroom is quite plain. It's not gonna be Insta worthy. There's nothing special going on here. <laughs> Um, I quite like a plain, simple look to the bedroom. I need to change the curtains because I'm having difficulty finding curtains that are like 90 centimetres or 120 centimetres, whatever it is. They're so small, um, not many shops have them. Argos sell them, but they're always out of stock at my local Argos. So I hate the curtains, but, um, you know, they do the job for now. And then we have just a little rug each side of the bed. Um, and then a dressing table, not dressing table, sorry, bedside table. So I've just got on mine, like toiletries at the bottom in a basket. And then my book, I'm reading Flat Share. It's so funny. Absolutely love that book um, so far. And then I've got lamps from B&M. The headboard is from Dreams. The bed is also from Dreams. Um, and yeah, I don't iron my bedding, which you can tell with the crease. You would think that I would iron my bedding for this 
house tour video, but no, nope, <laughs> I'm not doing it. I've also got a Tangled Teaser brush, which I chucked on there this morning and forgot to put away. So there we go. <laughs> Just ignore that. But yeah, this is the bed from Dreams. Uh, we've both got the bedside tables from Dunelm. They were quite expensive, actually, for what they are. I do like them, but they're like this French shabby chic type bedside table. They are pretty, but a little bit pricey. And they were from Home Bargains, not B&M. Um, and then another rug here. And then we also have an ensuite. So we've just got the towel rail and a toilet. And then we also have a shower just around the corner. But there's not too much to show in there. It's just a toilet. Um, but it's really handy. It's got a shower and a sink as well. So we can like just have that on hand in the bedroom, which I love. So that's the ensuite. Going out of the bedroom, we're going on the hallway. And then we're going to go into the main bathroom. So we've just got some glass shelving. You can see my 10,000 shower gels from my food shop. <laughs> I did this week because it was by four for three and I got excited on the deal. Um, so just for breathing here, shower gels, bath soak, you know, just the general bathroom stuff, vitamins, all that good stuff. There's some like medication stuff up there as well. Um, a little hand towel rail, obviously the toilet the sink and the bath and the shower overhead and I've just got a little bath tray with some goodies on there but there's not really much to show in the bathroom so the last room to show you is the office slash dressing room it's not too fancy in here again it's not like insta worthy but I love it I think it's pulled together really nicely so I've just got an office desk because I work from home now because we're like this new variants coming so I've now got to work from home which is frustrating because it's a new job and I'd rather be in the office but you know it is what it is um just stick the lights on so I've got a desk um a chair this chair's from B&M the desk is from Ikea the cushion was from Denome. I've got my lamp from B&M which I love a fluffy pink lamp and then I've got this board from Ikea I've had it well my husband had it for a couple of years and then I've just kind of took it um, when we moved because I thought it would look really nice with all of my like get ready stuff and I think it's come together really nice so it's got the jewellery hanging on the little pegs um, sunglasses we've got the nail polish we've got earrings and rings I've got necklaces in that one and then one bottle of perfume left because I'm all out of perfume I've got some for Christmas thank goodness because I've literally used it all this year um, and then I've just got this little sign and a little love sign as well but I think the pegboard looks really cute and it kind of houses everything the lights are from uh, Poundland I think um, in the summer and I just stick them on there just for aesthetics um, little flowers are from Ikea this is my like officey bit so I've just got like pen pots which you know is not that exciting um, a little rainbow plant I also have a paper trimmer and a printer and then I've got a laminator as well and then we've just got the window with the curtains from B&M so these curtains are from B&M, they just stay nicely in that little space there. Um, and then I've got some things that need to go in the loft, but this is real life. This is like, this is how the room looks. So <laughs> I'm just going to show you it how it is rather than shoving it all away. And then you can see it all clear because that's not how it is usually. Um, but these frames need to go in the loft. That yoga mat, let's be, let's be fair, you know, I buy a lot of chocolate. It's, I don't do yoga, but I've got the mat just to, I think just to make myself feel better when I walk in here, I think, right, I've got an exercise mat, I'm good. <laughs> I never use it, but there we go, I've got it. Um, these drawers are from Ikea. They were £50 when I brought them. They've gone up in price. I think they're like £70 now, which is a bit, a bit naughty um, from Ikea. I've got two sets of these drawers. There's a set over there. And the knobs are actually from HomeSense. So I brought the knobs separately and popped them on. Um, the rug is from the range it's really soft and adds a nice bit of texture to this carpet and then just this is my like dressing bit my makeup is here in this little 15 pound storage shelving thing from amazon so i just keep my skincare and my makeup there i've got a white mirror there as well and then i've got like a little 
this is from Amazon. This is just like a hallway unit. I think it was £25 and it just houses my blazers, my cardigans, um, jackets and handbags. And then it also has the handbags at the bottom. It's not the tidiest of areas, um, but I've got quite a few jackets, so it's quite hard to make it look presentable, if you see what I mean. Um, but I love it. I love the hallway unit. It's doing its job. So that just stands there. And then this is Christmas presents. I've shoved them behind the door and, you know, again, real life, um, I need to put them somewhere so they just stay here and they're going to get all wrapped up, ready for Santa. Behind the Christmas presents is a white rope basket that always stays there. That's just full of handbags as well. And then at the back of the door, I've just got some coats and jackets and a little scarf. I also have this massive basket of coat hangers, which I need to get rid of, but... I've got like 50 coat hangers in here that are just excess now. So I need to give them to a charity shop. And then, yeah, that is it. I've got some weights, but the weights are just like the yoga mat. I got, I've got them for aesthetic. They're part of the house and they make me feel good when I walk past them. But I don't use them. <laughs> they just look good. <laughs> it's so bad, isn't it? Um, But yeah, that is the office slash little dressing area um i do love this room i love coming in here doing my nails getting dressed like putting my makeup on it it's a nice space to come to and my husband obviously uses it for the office like the printer as well like he'll be able to use it as well and access it all of these drawers i've got towels bedding and then summer clothes and then excess clothes which don't fit into the wardrobe there as well and then this little basket is just hair care so hair dryer straighteners and curling tongue because I didn't know where to put that. I might pop that actually underneath the desk, but in the day, I like room like underneath when I'm, you know, working at the laptop and stuff, so maybe not. But yeah, this is a really nice space. I'm very happy with it. And it's just a nice little dressing room to have on hand extra. So that is the end of the new house. It's three stories, which is why I probably sound out of breath. Um, <laughs> I won't show you the garden because it's pitch black. It's really dark outside. But yeah, I am super happy with it, how it's come together. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Take care and I will see you on the next video. Bye.